Khan. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom, Yashirah. Let me give all praises and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem. Yahweh Shai. Baha Rakakudash. The bonus to our teachers at Great Melstoon. Taurus is two piece citation of Follett. To my. Glad to have a brother. Tell us your name, Art. I'm the brother. I'm the brother. I'm the brother Makaz. Makazak and um, Awaro here in Winnipeg and uh, Makazak's out there in Regina. And um, uh-huh. I got this um, through the spirit of this article, which is really showing um, Esau, um, showing his, uh, his true colors, being a, um, a not only a double minded man, but a, a carnal man at that. Yeah. And that they're not um, they're not spiritual. Yeah. Um, you got something you want to say, Art? No, 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 I'm good. You got a scripture? Um, or uh, you want to grab, um, you want to get Sirach, chapter 12, okay. and, um, and 10? Uh, gotcha. Because, um, as the scriptures say, man, like time, time is a great, um, through time you, you gain experience and you gain knowledge. Yeah. And, um, time shows you what people are. As the scriptures say, um, the furnace proveth the potter's vessel or if the tree has been dressed. Now, these Western uh, Europeans, I'll grab the article, but they're showing you that they are not um, so-called Christians, but they are really white exceptionalists, all right? They are pushing a white supremacy agenda while you niggas, spicks, and wetbacks obey that uh, uh, plantation Christianity, which they spewed out and you swallowed, all right? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So is his wickedness, and you got to understand that um that, that the Edomites are still here today. Um, the Book of Ecclesiastes says that there is no end of the of the nations. All right, so all the nations are still here. Pursue, even going into what Sirach, uh, no, it's like a second Ezra, um, was it six and seven or vice versa? You know, Esau is the end of the world. You got you got to you got to bring these into uh, your understanding, man. Um. As the scriptures say, be not ignorant any matter, great or small. You know, this yeah. is a very great matter. This is really the end of um of of uh what's the what's the scripture say? Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. You know, Esau is the yeah. end of a thing, man. Look what's going on in the world. There's poverty, there's oppression, all right? There's there's wickedness, man. At at the at the height, yo, the world's never been as wicked as it's been being uh, in this world that we're living in right now, man. All right, it's never like the the prophets, you know, like they're here today. They're wilding out, man. You know, go ahead. Art. Okay. It says verse eleven. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And what's the humbling? That's that Christianity. All right. What does Christianity represent? It represents it's it's a religion which they claim that they are followers of the Lord. Did not the Lord say? Um, be uh, uh, he that is highest among you, let him be the, uh, their servant, all right? Well, Esau yeah. being so-called the most powerful people in the world, based on the world of the most high right now, all right? He's he's claiming to be a servant unto the world and, and, and spreading his um, his white supremacy. And at the same time, um, his control, his hegemony, you know, telling you what's right and what's wrong and what, what you got to do and what you can't do, you know? Come. Yeah. Khan, Khan, I got a precept, you know, to back that up, you know, about Esau, you know, pretty much humbling himself. Uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 26. There is a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit. Ooh, you know what? That brings to mind that uh, Esau, man, when he, yeah. when, he um, when he lost his blessing, but he gained another one. And he said once yeah. his father is dead, he's going to go and kill Jacob, man. You know, he hung his, yeah. his head and, and saying, oh, Father, give me one blessing. And he got his blessing. but at the, And then he, he wanted to go off on his blessing. As soon as he got it, he wanted to use it. You know? Yeah, cut, cut. Yeah. Verse 27. Casting down his countenance and making as if he heard not. Where he is not known, he will do thee a mischief before thou be aware. Ooh. Ooh, that's what they're doing in religion, man. 
Christians. That's what they're doing in Christianity. It's just no more mischief. All right? Mischief, man. All right? Underlying, there's always a, a ulterior motive behind it, right? That's really yeah. what it is. Verse 28. And if for want of power, he be hindered from sinning. Ooh. Yet when he findeth opportunity, he will do evil. <laughs> it's all about power, man. And he's got power over you niggas, man. Spicks and wetbacks. All right? But through the truth, the scriptures say, um, uh, Isaiah, what, 24? All right? Uh, the, the Heavenly Father will cast down, all right, the veil that's covered over all nations. All right? And that's going strong with the truth because this is that light, you know? So he's showing you that, you know, through the truth, which is the Spirit searches all things, Esau's being made bare right now, man. All right? He's showing you his, his, his really what his true colors are. He's being made naked. All right, and that's starting with the um, with the with the, uh, the elders and the Great millstone through the will of Yahweh Hashem All right, and using the internet, all right, which is uh, which is a great tool to destroy this, these strongholds, man. What up? You got something to say? Come. No, 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 come. And then you know, just going back to Sirach chapter eleven, so like Sirach chapter twelve, verse eleven, it says, "Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him." And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Okay. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. That's time. All right. That's time. You know, you gotta you gotta be patient in this truth, man. Because Esau, you know, the Heavenly Father's could run in this, man. He's it's running on his time. All right. And when it, when he says it's time for these devils to be taken out of power, you're gonna see because it starts with pride. All right. And and that's what you're seeing right now, man. The right wing European, uh, you know, exceptionalist. It's all about elitism, you know, Caucasian Edomite, you know, and that's what we're seeing right now. They're being stirred up. You know, is that it on that? Khan? Khan, Khan. Um, verse 12. Verse 12, it says, send him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up. In thy place, you stand up neither that let him. That's right. Go ahead. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. And it says, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Yo, because Esau's envious, man. He knows who we are. They want our seat. They want to be the Israelites. We're the Jewish. We're Jewish. All right. We're we're the people of, of the Most High. We're Christians. They want to take our seat. When the biblical Christians were the Jews, all right, the apostles, man, and they were Jews. So in order for you to be a Christian, you got to go back to the chosen lineage of the nation of Israel, man. You got to be of the elect, okay? So um, the the uh, topic of this um of this video is uh, off of uh, Christian news, and it's going into um Esau. Uh, you want to get me Psalms sixty-four and four or sixty-four and you know which one it is, right? Sixty-four. What is sixty-four and eight? Um. They should cause their own tongues, right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. So the Heavenly Father is using, gun, the, the Heavenly Father is using uh, 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 the, the, the nation of Esau to expose themselves. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Eh? And it says, "So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away." So what you see right now? A lot of Jakes leaving the <laughs> churches. A yeah. lot of Latin tribes. A lot of you so-called Negroes leaving the churches because of hypocrisy. All right. Yeah. That's um. That's the book of Job. All right. You want to get uh, the book of Job, chapter eleven. You know, the scriptures say that the upright man shall be astonished. Uh, it's like a Job 16 and 8. Okay. Come. This is the book of Job, chapter 16, verse 8. And thou hast filled me with wrinkles, is that which is a wit. Job, oh, Job 16, verse 8. Job, you can't. Job, 
Kahn, 16. Oh, no, Slaki, 17 and 8. My bad, my bad. Oh, my God, Kahn, Kahn, sorry. Job chapter 17, verse 8. Upright men shall be astonished at this, and the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. You want to edify on that? Kahn, man. You know, because, you know, like, you know, the Lord, you know, is pretty much saying what, you know, there's going to come to a time, you know, where we're going to wake up and pretty much flee away from this, man, okay, because the things that the so-called white man has, you know, his society, everything that he set up, okay, it's all based on lies, man, okay, but the truth is going to overcome the lies at the end of the day, man, okay, and we're living at a time where the Most High is waking up the children of Israel, man, and that's why you got a lot of Israelites who are pretty much fleeing away from these uh, so-called churches, man, because there are a bunch of wicked ass Edomites in there, man, pushing out their doctrine, man. Okay, I got a, I got a precept for that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-two, verse three. It says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished, man." That's right. Okay, because, because <laughs> you know what, you got a lot of simple. Uh, you know, uh, you know, um, of our people, man, you know, Hebrew Israelites, man, you know, that are still in these churches and majority of them are what women, man, the black woman, the majority of them are still stuck in these churches following the goddamn white man, because the white man, you know, is pretty much their best friend, man. Okay, they do whatever the so-called white man wants to do. But you got a lot of our men who, who, uh, you know, um, beginning with the elect, you know, they've seen that evil. And they hid himself, man, under the umbrella of Yahweh Bashi man. Khan, Khan, okay, like beginning, beginning with the 144,000, man. Khan, like you said, um, the scriptures say that these women are, are wicked women laden with sins. And then the scriptures yeah. say, uh, unto a wicked man belong to a wicked woman. So that's why you got these w the wicked Jake women. All right. Yo, they, they're, they're Esau's uh, devil's advocate, man. All right. They're teaming up with Esau, man. All right. To yeah. take us down. So she is our enemy. All right, literally. Yeah, that's right, man. And, you know, um, the scripture says, you know, and she that is my enemy shall see it, man. Right. You know, there's going to come to a time, you know, which is happening right now because you've got a lot of our uh, women that are against us, man. That's okay, right. against what we do, against us pushing the true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, man. They don't like, you know, what we do out there in the house and the Bibles, man. Okay, but there's going to come to a time where the Lord is going to show them you know, that they're the ones who are, you know, pretty much uh, following uh, the devil, man. That's right. Okay, and we're you know, walking on the right path of Yahweh Hashem, man. That's right. That's right. So, um, is that it on that? I'll, I'll go into this article here. Yeah, yeah. And as, uh, I, yes. as I read through it, um, just, um, yo, just if you got any scriptures, just pull them up. All right? Okay, come. All right. Yeah. So, it says, uh, this is uh, Christian News. All right? Um, it says, Pew Research shows how... Nominal Christians in Western Europe do not practice their profession. And you don't hear this coming out of the, the church organization, you know. They ain't saying nothing about this. It says, uh, evangelical focus. Most self-identified Christians in Western Europe do not practice their profession. This is one of the main conclusions of the newest Pew Research reported on religion in, uh, entitled Being Christian in Western Europe. It says, according to the research conducted in 15 European countries, about 18% of the population are church-attending Christians. 46% describe themselves as Christians, but do not believe in the God of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> what the kind of hypocrisy is that, yo? It's com that's mass confusion, man. That's confusion. Yeah. It says, legal abortion is favored by 52% of church-going Christians. What's that showing you? There's a great division. They're not perfectly uni unified in, in the truth. All right. Um, you want to get Ephesians? What's that? Ephesians 2 or um, 2 and 2? One body, one spirit. Right? Yeah. It's just, uh, uh, you could also get um, James. Is that James 2 and 18? A double-minded man. You know, because yeah. you know, I got I got so many coming up in my head right now. It's like, uh, this this is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 8. It says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's right. That's double-minded, man, because the scriptures say one thing, and you got half of the church who are still unified saying that 52% are cool with abortions, 
and the other 48% are not good with the board. 